It's a horrible, horrible job. I can think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. And you have to do it. You have to, or I'll fire you. Do you understand? The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is directed by Tom Gormican and is a Nicolas Cage movie as Nicolas Cagey as it gets. Nicolas Cage plays Nicolas Cage, an actor who is currently struggling because he can't find the right roles right now. Hollywood seems to have kind of been done with him. Family life is abysmal. He, there's just no connection he has to either his daughter or his ex-wife. However, when he's invited to a birthday party by a man named Javi, played by Pedro Pascal, he shows up there because it's like, all right, fine, what the hell. But there seems to be a lot more going on there involving some secret agent stuff and some real danger and this could probably be the role of the lifetime and this is a movie that i haven't really seen the promos for so i don't really know if i should say more but in a sense what you get here is the ultimate love letter to nicholas cage now over the years there has been a lot of appreciation shown to nicholas cage i mean it has always been there for years it's hard to watch a movie with nicholas cage in it and not think that he's giving it 110 percent every single time he's in front of the camera even if it's a movie that you don't necessarily love you can tell that this is a man who loves just being on set and playing a character and you always see that and you can always feel that come through the screen like even when it's a movie like say Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance like I've seen that movie a bunch of times it, it's not a good movie at all but you can look at that and tell me yeah he's not having fun doing this because he clearly is having fun doing this like there is an enjoyment to it that he is clearly getting out of it And it's because of that that over the years, even those who were naysayers of Nicolas Cage's work, they've started to realize that maybe we were a little too harsh with him. And you have been, because over the years, he's just proven once again that he's one of the greatest. And even if it's something big or it's something smaller budgeted like Pig or something like Mandy, this is a man who can shine through. And the unbearable weight of massive talent proves that without the shadow of a doubt. This is a movie that is so meta, that is so self-referential, and it, it embodies those things as best as it can, that you can't not help but appreciate Nick Cage a little bit more after seeing it. Throughout the movie, he keeps talking about the fact that maybe I should just be done with this, but it's not like we've ever said we were leaving. And Nicolas Cage in real life has said that he doesn't plan on quitting acting anytime soon. I am so glad because this man is a gift to the world and he is phenomenal in this movie. I mean, some of my favorite movies of all time are Nick Cage movies. It's kind of hard to, to, you know, make a top 10 list or a top 25 list and not have one of his movies in there. Face Off? Sometimes I watch that movie and I think it's the greatest movie ever made. Uh, but <laughs> all things said and done, he is really, really great in here. And if you are a Face Off fan, you're going to like this. They do some stuff in there with this. Also really great in this is Pedro Pascal. He plays, a, like I said, Javi, a fan of his. And you can clearly tell like he's being the ultimate fanboy to this guy. I mean, there's other stuff going on revolving his character's arc. But there is such a chemistry that is built between him and Cage throughout the film that... It's very endearing, and you're so invested in it as it's going on. Everybody in the movie is honestly really good. I thought Tiffany Haddish and Ike Barinholtz and the moments that they have were also super entertaining. And I don't know, again, if I can talk about this much, but there is something else going on with Nick Cage as well that is super fun. And I don't want to say it just in case you haven't seen any of the promos or the trailers, but they do something with him that I loved. Again, it just adds to how fun the movie is. I was talking about the self-referential quality of the movie, which, yes, it does play into the how many references that it's making to itself and to other Nick Cage flicks, but it's also in how it's structured the movie. Like, there will be moments where you have a, a second act or some part of a second act play out in a specific way because they said it would play out that way, and they're sort of playing it out as a movie that's happening, which does come around eventually at a certain point but i really like how the film embraces that which is led by some stellar writing and direction yes there are moments where i think it could have been a little more tightly paced where it could have been a little more structured perhaps or a little more just this little tightly you know scripted a couple of moments 
uh, which I guess is my only issue with the movie. Like, I, there's a few moments where it could have used a little bit of polishing. But beyond that, I was having such a blast with this movie and laughing pretty loudly. There was a lot of laughs in my theater. People were really enjoying themselves, which is something that I really, really liked to see. I, I mean, you could tell there were some fans of Nicolas Cage in that theater. This movie is also a great love letter to, I know this is going to sound weird, but Paddington 2. I'm not going to say why, but you should probably just watch the movie and discover for yourself, well, why? I can't recommend this movie enough. This movie is the ultimate Cage fan movie. And if you're not a fan of Nicolas Cage, this one will convert you. This is a fun, little, really entertaining movie that just proves why I'm not ready and that no one is ever going to be ready to say goodbye to Nicolas Cage as an actor. And that's a good thing because he doesn't really want to say goodbye to it either. I'm going to give The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent a 9 out of 10. So I'm going to ask you guys, what is your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know. Was it Face Off? Is it something like Snake Eyes or Donnie Brasco leaving Las Vegas, Moonstruck, you know, Raising Arizona, Mandy, Color Out of Space, whatever it is, Pig even. Go all the years, whatever you pick out, leave them in the thoughts below. I, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the movies. Oh, 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 oh,